Hi, I'm Mihir Joshi. Welcome back. I have the lovely cat Lisa Montero here with me. And we've been talking about a whole bunch of things. If you've not seen the first part, go check that out first. She talks about uh, the jingles that she's uh, done. And I got her to sing one of uh, <laughs> uh, her favorite jingles, which once she sang, I realized was one of mine as well. And I'm sure it is for a lot of you. So check that out. And now we're going to talk a little bit about her uh, Bollywood career. And, you know, uh, she's been a part of a lot of films. So let's, let's, let's talk to her about that. So, yes, like I said, you've been a part of a whole bunch of Bollywood films film yeah. singing uh, uh, I think it, it was it were, were you sort of uh, were people asking you to sing English parts in songs because you know you're obviously so much more comfortable and in with, West, yeah. with western style of right. singing with English so was that the first thing that was asked of you uh, see <coughs> the thing is <clears throat> I know why, why people uh, approach me because they want a very western obviously style thing they wouldn't ask right. me to sing something Indian because Correct. that's not where I'm coming from Correct. so in terms of music so uh, so every time I went for a recording or something, they wanted that very, very international style kind of uh, tweak to it. Correct. So uh, that was predictable. But what I, I always wanted to give was not what they expected me to do. Right. I always wanted to give them something beyond what they expected. Correct. So there was always an, a new nuance to it. I would always uh, put in a little Arabic stuff to it. So they, nice. they were blown off. Like, oh, we didn't know that you could do this. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just... How I enjoyed this, this you know, this journey is because I did all these things. Yeah. I just put myself out and I, I challenged myself and wow. I did stuff that I was kind of happy with. Nice. Sometimes you're not, but then you know, you want to be proud of everything that you do. No, absolutely. Try to yeah. Be. yeah, yeah, yeah. And your first sort of film project that you did was what in 2001, Dil Chahta Hai. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You guys know, I mean, the best way to find out things is online. And uh, I just thought, you know, we'd look at some of the... It, there's been so many movies that you've sung for, you know. I mean, all the way from 2001 till last year. I yeah. mean, there are a whole bunch of films yeah. that, that you've sung, uh, sung in. And Dil Chahta Hai, what was... It, was it like... Uh, it was uh, actually when um, SN and Lloyd called me on it. Hmm. I They wanted me to do a little part of some... Put some color into the song. Hmm. So it was obviously a, a Hindi, purely Hindi song. And there was no lyrics that they had in mind for me. Correct. So they wanted a part wherein I would give a, a, some kind of... I don't know, some some tribally kind of Western thing. Like an improvisation bit. Yeah, very improvised. So okay. I think that was one of the toughest things because it, it had to come from in deep recesses of my brain. <laughs> and I had to just create something which whatever huh. and it was mad and they loved it <laughs> and I was like what <laughs> so that's how it started the journey in Bollywood yeah. began with some crazy little thing that yeah, was supposed to happen there were, yeah, thing. so there were no lyrics given nothing so just oh, no. come oh just do this and wow it's perfect yeah and the, <laughs> the funny part is Mihir is that every time I I went on a job yeah. or you know recording job they would always say give us something put some magic into the song. <laughs> so when they said magic, then they let me go loose. <laughs> All hell went loose and I would create this new language. Yeah. So even today, they laugh when I come. It's like, okay, just take. Meaning, just go. Just go for <laughs> just it. Just go for it. We're not telling you okay. anything. So, so uh, <laughs> of all the various songs in which you've been told to okay, create magic, can I hear something that you <laughs> did for somebody? Like, so, like okay, Esan and uh, Esan and Loy called you and said, okay, I want you to do something on this song. This is how the song is. Yeah. Do something. What would you have done? I mean, like right now, for instance, there's a song ready and you've been called into the studio and said, Kara, show us your magic. What would you do? Just like a little bit some improvisation bit. It doesn't have to be something that you've done in a song. Right. I'm just saying right now, let's just hear something that you that people would expect you to do. Right now in this space, I don't know, whatever's coming up. Yes, whatever's <laughs> coming up. Whatever's this moment in time, what what is it inspiring you to do? Wow. I don't know. <laughs> wow. That, okay, I did not see that coming. Again, like you said, you know, this slightly Arabic kind of a thing. I just said it. Maybe that's why it came. <laughs> My brain right. did its thing. Yeah, yeah, it just kind of associated with the last improvised <laughs> thing that you that you talked about and went into that. Okay, so that was one of the first songs. But then uh, you've done a whole bunch of uh, songs post that. Yeah. Tell me one song which people suddenly said like, Wow, man, this is pretty awesome, and we love we love what she's done with the song. I mean, not just like little bits, a song, song for you. Uh, 
actually, uh, uh, that's why I said I, I did a lot of uh, background score, which was, uh, you know, they had either classical, operatic, or it was something to do with uh, some Arabic thing, mm. or with some, some or like an Ofra Haza, which is Jewish. Okay. So it all depended on what kind of music came along. Right. And I just had to create something over it. Right. I just needed something to connect with to create something. Correct. So uh, that's how I really went about doing it. I mean, but the song from Rock On is something that people loved very much. Yeah, right? that is a that is a song that I'm I'm very thankful for that song because it's so much of meaning, mm -hmm. and it's like a everyday song for anybody. Yeah, you know, and the words are so like uh, I mean, a lot of people have uh, I've been touched because after I sang the song a lot of people uh, through Facebook or wherever you know messaged me telling me that it it changed their lives a bit yeah. you know they were inspired by it so much that wow. they were going through so many things in their relationships or in their lives and uh, they listened to the song mm. and they were really touched and that made me like really happy because that whole the whole uh, meaning and purpose of a of a singer or a musician is to, is to, to touch to people's, people's lives, yeah. lives and their hearts and their souls. Very and cool. for me that's very, very important, you know. <laughs> so can I have you sing a little bit of the song? The song from Rock On Fir Dekhi. Sure. <laughs> खुश है वही जो तोड़ा बेताब है जिंदगी में कोई आरज़ू कीजिए फिर देखिए डन <laughs> I was hoping for more. I just got <laughs> lost in the song. Uh, very very cool stuff. Uh, cool. So फिर देखिए happened and then um, after Rock On also, of course, there have been a whole bunch of movies that uh, you've sung for and that you've... Uh, in fact, I think uh, in in a recent movie, you've also composed a song, right? Rise of the yes. Zombie. Yes, <laughs> I forgot about it. Yes. Actually, Rise of the Zombie. Rise yeah. of the Zombie. It's called All Alone. It's in English, yes. It's in English. And, mm. uh, you know, in fact, we were going to go into that aspect in the final part. You compose quite a bit. I mean, you've got your songs. You've written a whole <laughs> bunch of songs, which yes. are going to start recording right. in uh, in the next year, in, in January, year. Yeah. Uh, January, February, and uh, and it's going to be it's going to be exceptional. Like I can't wait to hear some of the songs that she's got ready. But before we listen to some of the songs that you're that you're doing for your own album, yeah. tell me a little bit about the song that you did for Rise of the Zombie. I mean, all alone. Actually, it was set on a. Uh, it was a. I mean, when I met Luke Kenny, and he yeah. was. He wanted me to write a song that was like a ballad, but it had a very nostalgic, you know, feel to it. So mm. it was about this. He said this was this couple who have parted and they think about each other. So that's what I had, and I was like, okay, let's write a song on that. Yeah. And uh, I wrote the lyrics, and well, it materialized, and then they put it on the f in the film. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and the composition, everything was yes, done by yes, you. Yes. Yeah. And uh, this is a part of your home recording yeah, setup where you work space, and yeah, uh, your space. And uh, uh, is there a is there a process to your uh, to your you know to the magic that you create? I mean, when you're working, when you when you you know when you go to do a jingle or yeah. you go to sing a song yeah. for Bollywood, someone's telling you this is what we need from you. Yeah. Or you know, even if they tell you okay, improvise, but there's still a, a structure in which you've been mm. told to improvise. Right. But when you've been told that okay, you got to create a song for a film or for something you also compose for jingles so yes. you know suppose you've been told like yes. now you've got to create something how, how what's the process oh uh, as I said I work very differently I don't know if everyone works the same way mm -hmm. but when I'm given a, a, an idea mm -hmm. it's like I tell you something mm -hmm. and then you you go about doing whatever I told you to do right. so it's like someone tells me to to write something and this is the brief that mm. they give me yeah then I can work on it easily because Correct. they've given me either the freedom to do what I want to do right. in that space right so I know my boundaries within that Correct. and then it's just about inspiration it's just uh, you know you get inspired and it just happens yeah it just has <laughs> it has to happen <laughs> wow awesome awesome yeah. awesome stuff so all right so we're going to talk about more great things that are happening with her right now she's got a whole bunch of songs that are ready and she's going to start recording her uh, first album very soon have you planned what it's going to be called 
any no. names, <laughs> nothing's okay. So we 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 we'll, ha we'll actually we yeah when the album's ready, we'll get her back on the show mm -hmm. and we'll talk about. It. But we've got to find out some of the songs that are going to go on that album. That's going to happen in part three of the MJ show with her. Stick around. Oh, 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 oh